WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight after this TFNN noon update. And we've got the Dow down 12 at 26,703. Yesterday, it missed by about 20 points, making a, a recovery high that would be at a above 26,907. I'm still expecting that. It's taking a little while for this handle. Now, <clears throat> in this particular pattern that I call the, the cup and handle, but it's a rising cup and handle pattern, not one of my favorites at all. I love the cup and ladle, chap and wave methodology where your power on that cup formation, you just go right through the left side lip, in this case, 26,695, and continue higher without a break. And that's usually very positive. So this says that the chap and wave inside track resistance, that's this red and on the left side chart of the day, this green and red dashed line inside there, that zone, is a repellent zone. You need to see the Dow power nicely over 26,907. And yesterday it was a Boeing that stopped it. Today it's the general market that is a malaise. Um, and what we are looking at is key support at 26,550 at this particular stage. S&P, so I'm still positive about this. Uh, subscribers are still bullish. Uh, long, 2962.81 in the S&P, down $1.55. Did make a leg C. We're expecting still a leg D to come. And both charts, the weeklies need a little bit more work. But so far, it's quite good action. And we're watching the 20, <clears throat> 29, 53 support, very short term. That's what ne needs to hold. And you want to see it break into the 29, I would say 29.83 level by uh, tomorrow. Uh, let's see what happens with the composite index, the QQQ index 100. Down just 15 cents, it did make a peak D, and that leg D, and that D is really important in the buy mode in a Chapman wave where you get four higher peaks. That's the requisite for that particular pattern. And we've done that. Anything else now is a bonus, and that makes the 20, the 190.57 uh, high of yesterday key to break on the upside, and the gap in the middle of the one, I just call it one. Oh, we can call it 187.50s is going to be key support. Gold was weak earlier on. It's now up very nicely. It's up 17 at 14.06. Silver's also up, and the dollar's kind of meandering. This is very nice because the gold has bounced off the 14 period moving average. We'll talk about it as soon as I get back in my Target Traditions Hour. Have a great day. Hope to see you later on or tomorrow. Have a great day.